Hello. So in this problem, we are faced with the following situation. We have a spaceship, I don't know, maybe something like that. Uh, the mass of the spaceship is eight times 10, 8.0 times 10 to the four kilograms. And is initially at rest in deep space. The thrusters provide a force of 1200 uh, kilonewtons. The spaceship fires its thrusters for 20 seconds. So, yeah. I'm gonna put it over here. This is section one of the problem. This is section two of the problem. So in, in the first section, there is constant, Um, acceleration. And that section lasts 20 seconds. In the second section, there is no acceleration anymore. So it's constant velocity. no acceleration. And we know that we're told in the problem that it's gonna last, uh, it's, it's gonna be 12 kilometers. And we have to find the time, you know, that it's, uh, that it's gonna take the spaceship to go through those 12 kilometers after the uh, thrusters were on for 20 seconds, okay? So we have a different set of uh, variables. So the mass, is the same all the time. The initial velocity refers to the initial velocity of section of the first section. The final velocity, we don't know the final velocity. We have to calculate it. But the final velocity of section one is equal to the initial velocity. And because the, const the velocity is constant, it's equal to just the velocity in, in section two. All right. And then the force only matters in the constant acceleration, right? When you have the thrusters on. So the force is 1200 kilo newtons. So kilo means times 10 to the three newtons. And we have another three over here. So I'm gonna just say 1.2 times 10 to the six. Wait. Um, Twelve hundred times ten to the three, four, five, six. Okay, one point two times ten to the six newtons. 
that's the thrust of the the force of the thrusters. All right. So if you look at this, it is um, a kinematics problem in disguise. So we know the initial velocity, the time. We can calculate the acceleration because we have force and mass. And we just need to get these, um, this final velocity. OK, so remember that force equals to mass times acceleration. Oops, times acceleration. So acceleration is force divided by mass. I was getting my, I was getting a little bit of myself there. So the force is this 1.2 times 10 to the six newtons. And the mass is eight times 10 to the four kilograms. So the units are gonna be in meters per second squared as we want them to be or need them to be. So we can get rid of this four and this will become a six, I mean a two. So six minus four. And this is just 120 divided by eight. That's equal to um, 15 meters per second squared. Okay, so if this is a mass, this is a force, then the acceleration is 15 meters per second squared. So now we have time, initial velocity, and acceleration. And we want the final velocity of section one. Let's say delta t. OK, so initial velocity is 0. We can get rid of it. And the final velocity is just going to be the acceleration. So the 15 meters per second squared. And the time is 20 seconds. So that is 300. Uh, second and second goes away. So that's just meter per second. OK, so we can put it over here. That uh, velocity is 300 meters per second. And it's the velocity over here also in the second segment. So what we want to know ultimately is this delta time in the second segment. So we know that the velocity is just the displacement divided by the time. Uh, that displacement, well, so this implies that the time is the displacement divided by the velocity. And the displacement is 12 kilometers. So that's 12 times 10 to the 3 meters. Uh, so that's 1.2 times 10 to the 4 meters. And we divide it by three times 10 to the two meters per second. So we can get rid of this one is gonna be a two and well, subtracting this one is gonna be just three. So 1.2 times 10 to the two, that's 120 meters divided by three meters per second. It's gonna be 40. And the units we have meters and meters per second. So this is meter per sec time second divided by meters. We get rid of the meters and we end up with just the seconds. So this is 40 seconds. So that is the, the number that we were looking for, 40 seconds. And that is the final answer. So you know, uh, this is a cool problem. Like, as I mentioned, it's kinematics in disguise. The only thing that we're adding is that now 
we are not given directly an acceleration. Instead, we get a mass and a force. And we can use uh, Newton's second law to get the acceleration. Everything else is stuff that we already knew. Right, so I hope that you like that problem. Thank you.